I can yeah. tell you, okay, I got, I, I am, uh, I am what they call street dad. Pops. Yeah, I am Pops, okay, <laughs> and he'll tell you. Well, they call me Doc, my name's Jim. I've been, I have been in Reno, it will be five years on the 18th of December after I got out of prison. Just certain things happened and I'm out on the streets and my wife's out here. Doc is a bright candle in a dark room when it comes to living on the streets. He claims that almost all of the homeless people in Reno know him and look to him for help. From spending just a short amount of time with him, it was apparent that this was so. I, as you can understand, Hi, Doc. everybody out here is yeah, my family, good. okay, and, and, I, and I keep it that way, okay. And me being as white as I am, I call myself a reversed apple. I'm white on the outside and I'm red on the end, okay. I've been raised on a reservation in New Mexico all my life. My family's all native. Uh, any problems come out with them, they come talk to me. Simple. My wife is, with my background, my wife showed me two things that I've never seen in my life, and that's my heart and my soul. Okay? She's sick right now. She's at camp. Right. I'm going to go get her some tea right now. Mom, can I get some hot water? Can I get some hot water for my tea? It's just tea. Thank you. She's just not feeling good, and it's like, I, I spoil her, all right, I'm like, I put it in a whiskey bottle, huh, kind of reminds me not to drink, so I'll talk to you in a little bit. Life for the homeless is not easy in the biggest little city. I know, Don, I know who you are, little brother. I give you respect. I give you respect. Right. I said I give you respect, okay, you understand that. Uh, calm down, now please. I'm trying Just calm. to give it to you. Well, you, got, you got my respect. You already know that. You've never done nothing wrong. According to the U.S. Interagency Council on Homelessness, it is estimated that nearly 50% of homeless individuals suffer from substance abuse and up to 25% suffer from mental illness. Reno has a few laws that have been criticized for being anti-homeless by the National Law Center on Homelessness and Poverty. There is an ordinance that made it illegal to sit or lie on a sidewalk in the downtown regional center, and the city code also states that it's illegal to sleep in any park in Reno. It's not an uncommon sight to see homeless people arrested for these actions. I have literally got arrested for putting a, putting a sleep bag over me and a friend of mine because it was raining in, in, in the old bu at the old bus station that there's a park now, and they threw me and him in jail. Okay. They let other people sleep there. Yep. They said I had, they, 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 they threw us in jail because I was camping in the park without a permit. Yeah, they're running, they're running people off the river. They're running people out at out, 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 out any place they can stay. Any All right. place. It doesn't matter where it's at. You're not allowed to be homeless, but where are, they, where are we going to go? All right. There is an estimated 800 people who are homeless in Reno. Between the downtown shelter and the overflow shelter, there are still approximately 400 people left living without a home. It's just, it's, we, don't, we don't have enough resources. Best way to put it, we don't have enough resources for homeless people, okay? Doc hopes that people can recognize that the homeless are citizens too who have just landed in an unfortunate circumstance. Tell them to walk a, walk a half a mile in my moccasins, okay? Anyone, any one of these people. Any one of these people. Like I said, I have, I have too many skills. All right. I used to do multi-million dollar houses. All right. And look where I'm at now.